Hey everyone, welcome to the ABCs of Real Estate. My name is Ronnie Jenkins and today we're going to be kicking it off with the letter A. A stands for appraisal. Now the appraisal is a very important part of real estate transactions and sometimes could make or break a deal. When a buyer is purchasing the home with a loan, the lender will require that an appraisal be performed so to ensure that the price offered matches market value. Because a lender is buying some, if not most of the home, they do not want to overpay. The lender will only lend on an appraised value. So this means that if the value is below offer price, then there is a gap that needs to be bridged by someone other than the lender. Now when a home does not appraise, a buyer has a few options. Depending on the type of market, some of these options are more possible than others. These options are renegotiate the sales price down to appraised value. Now this is only really possible in a strong buyer's market. So right now in Silicon Valley, we're in a very, very strong sales market. So this is rarely, rarely seen unless it's a very unique property. Option two is make up the difference in cash. This is the one we see most right now. So this is the buyer bringing more money to the table, increasing their down payment essentially um, to make that difference, to bridge the gap. Option three is restructuring the loan, changing the loan to value range, how much loan you're getting, how much down payment, there's some restructuring options that could happen. And the fourth option is to back out. Now this is only possible if you have an appraisal contingency in place, which is very uncommon right now in our strong sellers market in Silicon Valley because it is so competitive. So right now, if you want to back out per the appraisal, you would lose your deposit. So this isn't a great option either. So the most important thing is to know your options and to have realistic expectations when you're making an offer. If you're making an offer that is significantly over asking price, which is the case here with most offers in Silicon Valley, then have a plan in place for the appraisal not coming in that value. Have this conversation with your realtor before you write an offer. Make sure you discuss your options and have a plan for it not appraising. An appraisal can make or break a deal, but if it's navigated wisely, it's just another step along the way to home ownership. Join us next week as we talk about letter B and the term best and final. See you then.